Manuel, why didn't you watch the game last night? And that was why? Why were you out? Or did you take a conscious decision not because to watch Because I it? was seeing Aston Villa. It's the, it's the team we had to play against them. I was working in Aston Villa, not seeing Liverpool. We don't depend on the, the result of Liverpool. You were watching a tape of, the Villa, of Villa? I was working, yes, with right. Aston Villa. When did you know of the result from Sellers Park? When uh, the game was over, it was finished, because other people were seeing it. <laughs> we're telling you. Not at the moment, at the end. And does that result really do your work for you, your team talk for you? Because what happened to Liverpool could easily happen to you, couldn't it, against Villa? Is that a good lesson for your players? Always a good lesson, I think, for everybody. Because, uh, I repeat once again, nobody knows what happened in football. That's why it's the most uh, popular sport in the world. Because the results has a lot of things that do not depend just on what you can do. Uh, maybe Liverpool... Uh, had a success of trust, they, are, they, are, they were winning 3 0, but in three balls, the, the score changed. So, of course, it's not only a lesson in this, in this moment, I think that football is always the same, the same way. Mama, are, you, are your players nervous about tomorrow night? Is it, is it a game that makes you nervous because of the potential that Villa could get a result? No, they have experienced players, so uh, they, they lead a similar situation to two years ago. Uh, of course, we, the, the, the team, we have the pressure to win, but we have the pressure the whole year to win. From the beginning of the, of the season, I always said that this team want to win, uh, wants to win the title, and now we'll try to do it till the end. Manuel, Brendan Rodgers questioned on Friday whether City can win five consecutive games that you would need to do to win the title, because you've only done that once before. Do you have any observations on that? Any observations about uh, or what, what other managers is. They have all their opinion. I respect it. Is there, therefore, but is there a need for more consistency to win more than just three games on the run to actually take it to four and five? We are not thinking about that. We just need to win one game that is tomorrow against Aston Villa. What, what uh, particular qualities does this group of players have that's enabled them to stay in the title race? Because it looked at one stage as though you were out of it. Really, I don't want to talk more about the title race or the title because it's not the moment. I think the moment today is just thinking about the next game. Next game is Aston Villa. We have played a lot of games here at home. And the only way to continue in, in, the, in, in, in our position is to win the three points tomorrow. So all the other things we can analyse is after what, when, the, when the race is over. Manuel, you have been very good here at the Etihad Stadium, but you drew two each with Sunderland recently. How can you be sure that won't happen again tomorrow evening? It's impossible to be sure. You never know what will happen in a game, but uh, maybe may against Sunderland was very strange because they draw against us, against our team here at home. But if you continue seeing what Sunderland did after that, they beat Chelsea at home and they beat the Manchester United. So maybe the draw was not so bad here. Maybe with, with that point, we are now in, able to win the title or what we can do in the next two games. I repeat that the games are not all, all the same, but we are going to have a difficult team tomorrow. And I hope that we, we, are, we are maybe the whole squad is in another moment. We play against Sunderland three days after the defeat against Liverpool. In this moment, I think that the trust of the, of the, of the squad is different. But we are not with a sex of trust of thinking because we play at home, we are going to win. We, have, we need to play very well to win that game. You're always very calm. Uh, do you think this is something that the players have been this season? Has this helped them, a sort of sense of calmness? If I try to be calm, it's because I think it's the best way for the players to, to play these two games. It's not easy eh? to be calm. Manuel, the, the trip to Abu Dhabi next week, will, will Sergio be on that trip or will he be stay behind to get fit for the World Cup because obviously he's had a few injuries? No, I don't think that Sergio has any relation for tomorrow with the, with the World Cup. He must be 100% because we are, we are playing for a very important thing tomorrow and if he's not 100%, he, he cannot play. That's but, my decision also. But will you take him to Abu Dhabi next week or will you let him stay behind or go to Argentina to prepare for the World Cup? After we finish the season, we'll see what happens with Abu Dhabi. Now we are just thinking about what is the best thing for Aston Villa. Obviously, you can, um, you're within touching distance of 100 goals. For, you need four, but presumably you'd be quite happy with two 1-0 wins in these last two games. We are not thinking about the record of goals. We are thinking just to win because it's the most important thing. If after you win, you can have the record of goals, maybe. But I think it's more important to continue with our style of football from the beginning of the season that... 
we, uh, we play here at home and try to finish in the same way. A, a win and a draw would actually do it. I mean, but that can't be your mentality, can it? You... We are not thinking about the draw. We are thinking about to win tomorrow Aston Villa and, and then we'll see the next game. Basically, what, what we're going to do is you're going to disappear in a cloud of smoke. But you don't need, you're not going to disappear right now. I'm going to make you disappear when we, <laughs> we do the edit. <laughs>